My name is Anna Verano, I am the Lola Green Girl, and this is my Zero Waste YouTube channel. Hi everybody, how are you guys today? So happy Wednesday. So today's video is kind of important. It has been a year, or next week it'll be a year, of having Green Zero Waste and having my channel little green girl. I will have my first video linked up here in the icon. And uh, I love that video and still to this day, love it. But today I wanted to give you guys kind of a sit down video because I haven't done that one of those in a while. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys some things that I used to do and um, I didn't enjoy being zero waste. And now what I do that still is saving the planet what you can do to save the planet so make sure to subscribe if you like more videos like this um go check out my channel um down below so today i kind of just wanted to tell you guys how um i used to try to fit into a mold of like being perfectly zero waste. So you can see my video up here um i was trying to like be a certain way. I was trying to have a certain mason jar and it made me feel so bad to fill up that mason jar. And I don't want you guys to feel like that. I want this to be a channel where you guys can learn tips on saving the planet but not being zero waste. Because to me, that's not a thing. And if any of these things that I don't do anymore make me not zero waste, then I'm not zero waste and that's okay. It's okay not to be totally zero waste. It's very impossible. It's very much impossible and you can't physically do it right now so i just think that i'm going to tell you guys some things that i used to do that are zero waste that are zero zero waste and that i didn't enjoy doing i didn't like not doing these things i didn't like not buying these things or doing these things it didn't make me feel good so i'm going to tell you guys some stuff so first of all i wouldn't buy chips because they came in a plastic bag and i love potato chips that really made me sad to not have them i got but i got cereal i used to not buy cereal because it had a plastic lining and I remember going to my friend's house and just stealing all their cereal because I craved it so much and I felt like somebody was gonna judge me if I had bought it at my own house. I would only buy bulk things. So if there was no all papers flour at, in bulk, we wouldn't have flour and that's something you need kind of. Um, I would use special skincare that didn't work for my face and made my face break out or be really oily and I didn't like it. I would make other people feel awkward and I didn't like that. We shouldn't ever make people feel awkward. I felt guilty and awkward if I threw things in the trash, which is a wrong way to think about it. If I could just tell myself in this video that you don't have to be perfect, that you don't have to be 100% zero waste and to just be yourself, it would, I wish I could. Um, I got I had zero waste hair care like shampoo bars and conditioner bars that didn't work for my hair. Made my hair feel greasy and oily and I hated it. And I wouldn't make smoothies because I didn't have frozen fruit and I love smoothies. They're one of my favorite foods. So that was sad to me and I took it away from myself. And if any of these don't make me zero waste, that's okay. We shouldn't make ourselves, there shouldn't be a thing like zero waste. Not everybody is gonna be able to do it. And for my family right now, it's not accessible to do these things. It just isn't. And I hope that you take some stuff from that. That being zero waste just means you're low waste and that you don't have to be perfect and that you can buy these things. Now I wanna talk about some positive things. These might not work out for you, but I know that they're less stressful and can help. Um, I don't use paper towels. It's so simple to use on paper towels and I think they're really good and you wash them and it's really good for the environment. Next is composting. I still compost. I don't compost on my own because that was too much work for me and there was worms everywhere. I send it away to make soil, no, to Suncoast Compost. Um, and I'll have another video linked up here in my composting video. Yeah, you can go check that out. Um, so that was really cool. 
and um yeah i feel like every every person in america every person on the world composting we would have such a healthy planet and we would like almost save the planet by doing that plastic bags are we don't use them anymore my sister does occasionally get plastic bags still um we'll use them for our cat's litter or my or our trash because we don't buy trash bags because that's unnecessary I feel like um but for the most part we don't buy plastic we don't get plastic bags from the supermarket we bring our own shampoo is something i'm still doing zero waste i get it in bulk from sam's market or the refillery so i'll have another video linked up here where um i tell you guys about tour of sam's market and the refillery um i have started thrifting which i think that thrifting is so cool um i like thread up and then i also like kids in which i've talked about in in another video i'm sorry in um my uh biodegradable ballet video up there too um and i think thrifting is really cool and you can get some really cool clothing that are vintage or just cute and i really love that I make my own bread, which I'm really sorry, guys. I will have another video linked on the iCard up here. You can go check it out. Um, so, yes, I make my own bread and butter, which are also on that iCard. Um, and they are amazing and so much better than bread you buy at the store. And um, we still buy things from the market, which are sustainable. We get all our lettuce package free we'll get some radishes some tomatoes some stuff like that package free which is also local which is also sustainable and i think that that's really cool these things are small steps that i think everybody could do might not work out for you because again you might not have a zero waste store back here or a market you know that doesn't always work for people so just find that works for you what you can do to reduce your waste just a tad because Every single piece of waste that you don't throw in the trash makes a world different. Just remember that. I also want to mention one more thing is that um, I used to be a vegetarian and I craved meat so much. I craved chicken so much. Now I'm slowly, I don't eat beef because beef is really bad for the environment and I don't eat pork anymore. Um, and I'm on my way because I want to be vegan one day and I'm on my way there. We're trying to get there, but I wanna go slow because if I don't go slow, then I will just stop and do, don't do it at all. So I think that's really important. Take small steps that are gonna make a world's difference one day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe down below if you're new here. I really love the support and we are almost at 100 subscribers, which is crazy. I post new videos every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you like my videos, I have a whole channel of them. Um, so yeah. I love you guys so much. Bye.